what's up everybody today i'm going to be making a video talking about flashlights because i am sick and tired of people dogging olight flashlights and they don't have any they never had one and i can't totally blame you because there's a lot of hate on the internet about olight and i was one of them i just didn't like make videos dogging them i never had the thing to even say but i just in my mind from passing from what i saw I thought they were trash. I thought it was more like this thing that I got from Timu. Uh, so we're going to be, I bought these like a month or so ago, maybe more than that now to do a comparison, but I'm glad I waited because I had an issue with this and, you know, bought this one from Timu because this is honestly how, what I thought these were going to be like. So first up, let's talk about the Timu. So this right here, you guys. You're looking at the brightest flashlight you've ever seen in your life at a whopping 15 million lumens. 15 million out of this thing, right? Light as a feather, okay? 15 million lumens. Let's, let's take a look at the build quality first before we dive deep. You see that line? Plastic. What movie is that from? Plastic. It's plastic, okay? That little line is plastic. All right, this little thing right here is metal. This clip, that's metal, but plastic. This little LED cover, all plastic, right? So here we are. We have our little LED for the battery light here. And I thought when I was trying to figure out how to charge it, I pulled it up from here for some odd reason, and it just came off. And I realized, like, oh, snap, that was a power button. I just so effortlessly peeled off, right? So let's... Stick that back on real quick. All right, there we go. Back on, no problem, right? No problem. We have our USB-C charge. That's impressive, right? So anyway, let's let's take a gander at this. Um, well, we're not. We're going to just talk about build quality for now. Um, and there you go, more plastic on the back end there. There you go. And we have this strap. All right, so let's move on. Let's talk about the Husky. This is 5,000 lumens, 5,000 lumens in this very big package here. There you go. Which, by the way, this is, how, how many lumens is this? 7,000 lumens, 7,000 lumens in that little package, but I digress. 5,000 lumens. So let's talk about some cool things. This comes with a lithium ion rechargeable battery, but it has this little case thing that you can just stick some nine AA batteries in, stick it in there, and it'll work. It won't be as bright, but it will work. All right. And the way, and this is, this build quality is, is pretty good. It's all um, metal. I don't like the, the grip because it's a joke. This thing is just slippery slide. You can hear a little bit, but that's, you know, look, it's, it's slippery still it's not grippy at all but you know the design is there but it is made of i would say a high quality type of metal um up here you have a this is well made in my opinion this is a little plastic orb and you can twist this thing for zoom so it could zoom in to uh have like more of a spotlight Right here, I don't know, yeah, spotlight, I thought it said sport. Spotlight and then floodlight, um, and you just rotate it, all right? So that's spot, spotlight, and then you have a floodlight. And this does get kind of hot. You got to leave it on for a long time, though. Power button right here. You see how I had to turn it off like the Milwaukee's got to keep pushing it. Then it go off. Um, and then to charge it up, there is a port back here that you twist and um you have access to that now did you notice this i accidentally turned this on all right now let's talk about this port build quality of husky you see that does that look aligned to you that's because it's not and i reached out to home depot about this and asked for an exchange i just wanted a replacement you know what they told me i couldn't return it i don't know why they said that but i couldn't return it um, and I had to keep it. So I just called my credit card company and that was that free flashlight. Uh, but it's very difficult to charge. I have to use what it came with and force it down in there. And it also appears to charge our devices. 
which I also did not know it could do that. But it can charge other devices, apparently, 5 volts and 1 amp out. So, what the heck? It's two of them. I just noticed that. Shoot. And, and both of them still had a nerve to be misaligned. I did not know it was two this whole time. So this is out, <laughs> and this is in. Golly, this one seems to be a little bit... No, nah, they, they both messed up, man. So anyway, that, I just discovered that with y'all. Moving on to... This is getting long. We have this Husky. Um, it's 1,200 lumens. Smaller one. Still larger than any of the Olights. Also made well. The machining is smooth and sucks. And it's the same thing. You you slide this down to expose the port input. Let's see if this one has two, two. Oh, it does! But these line up. It's funny. I charge these things multiple times. I kept going through this with them. I never noticed it was two. That's so weird. So um, I wonder if you can charge it with the output. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to mess it up. So anyway, this has that as well. It's basically the same thing, just lower wattage. But you do turn this on this one on differently than the other one the buttons on the on the thing there and on this one it's on the rear all right okay now i just want to show you guys how well made this is you see that this is all metal all olight stuff all metal rotate this thing you're going to get some leds i never took this plastic off and i'll be using this i didn't even know that plastic was still on there show you the battery right then this is going to be the brightness when you turn it on this is how you charge it magnetic charge not the port that can mess up on you which just came out of the box messed up look all of them this is the new seeker 4 pro all right look at this very well made look at these little ridges this is all machined metal okay Baton 3 Pro was, was my favorite one until this Seeker 4. Look at this. You hear that? Well made flashlights. And then look at this, the technology in this thing. If you want to know what your battery is like, just do this. It says green, so it's good. And then when it goes down, it'll be like orange or yellow and then red. It needs to be recharged, okay? Um, also, the lens on all these, very high quality. Again, magnetic ports high quality and it just goes on all of them high quality high quality stuff look at this green it's pretty okay high quality well machine this is that multi-tool just high quality well machine tools okay i just wanted to show you that now let's do a quick comparison on the lumens and the actual light because that's we you know flashlights are we in the dark now and we're going to first up test this 15 lumen Timu light. Let's go. I mean, it's actually not terrible. You can rotate the head here. It's not going to do anything. But, you know, it does do that. This is all of maybe a thousand lumens. I don't know. Let's see. Because we have one that's down as a thousand lumens. But it don't matter. You're not going to buy this. I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was something, though. Not worth it. All right, where's the power button? There we go. Now, let's compare uh, this Seeker Pro 4, which is 4,600 lumens, to this 5,000 lumen Husky. Husky up first. Now, this is on its brightest setting. This is in spot mode, but let's open it up because the Seeker Pro 4 does not have um, a spotlight option. Okay, so that's as wide as it goes. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up. You see that? You see the ring around these things? I don't like flashlights that do that. I prefer a nice feathered uh, edge, but generally you'll see stuff like this on spotlights. Now, let's go ahead and open up the, turn on the Seeker Pro 4. Now, this is the Seeker Pro 4. Uh, it's not as bright and it's a different color, but you can get them in the, the lighting and different color uh, but if we look at the edge here look at the floor we'll even see it has a very nice spread down back here to my feet so i'm going to get the husky and i'm going to hold them out together and just show you guys the spread on these things now i have them both on at the same time you can see that 
the Husky has a really nice, that yellowish color. Yeah, I like that color. Now, and also you can see that the Seeker Pro almost, it doesn't get lost. But they're not the same color though, you know. So this is a little more intense. But again, that's not on, um, if it was focused, but I focused it more, then it would be, you would see the, uh, the Olight less. But let's check the spread out because it looks like, man, that Husky is really blowing out that Olight. But is it though? So let's check this out. I'm going to hold them out at the same length, same distance, as you can see. And let's look at the spread. You see where the Husky ends. It's right there. That's the spread. And now let's look at the Olight. That's it. That's the spread from the Olight right there. From a little teeny flashlight. What a spread. Now, both are getting real hot right now, so I'm about to put this down. But there you go. That's the spread. And if I turn off the Olight, you'll notice a huge difference. There you go. All right. So, you got to factor in what's important to you. If you want, like, a nice spotlight, this might not be bad. But keep in mind, it's humongous. All right. So, now let's move on to the thousand lumen husky now here here we have the 1200 lumen husky and i'm going to have it spread all the way out here and let's turn all the way bright up you got to hold that button down it's going to get a little tad brighter and there you go and now we're going to use this olight which is a thousand a thousand watt lumens again the olight has more of a feathered edge as opposed to the sharp edge of the husky let's look at the spot on the husky you see that olight gets completely drowned out for the most part see it has such a wide spread it lights up the room turn that off you see it was a humongous difference And then finally, comparing kind of apples to apples, we're going to use this Marauder Mini. This is way more money. This is way more money, but it does have a, a throw function. So this is the spread on that, as bright as it goes, right? It just lights up even, I mean, everything pretty much. <laughs> just light up. Let's turn it off. It, it lights up everything, even stuff behind the thing. It lights it all up because the spread is that good. And then the throw now you see that little ring again uh, but you could tell that this spotlight and for some reason it's really smooth uh, when you put it in there it's like self-leveling or something super smooth look at that so crazy this is how we get those ufo videos of orb float and they use olight flashlights and they just you know go glide across the room that is insane how smooth that is why is it so darn smooth Anyway, I'm trying to make it jerky, but it, I can't. So anyway, all right, so this video was just a video just to show you guys really that Olight is not trash. Um, Husky is not trash either. Uh, the build quality is hit or miss. I've had nothing but hits with all my Olight stuff, um, but this could be hit or miss. And I do kind of like these for the price. I don't like this. It's just humongous. It's too big. But this 1200 Lumen one is not bad for, you know, its size. Um, obviously, the Olights, because really I should have compared this to the Warrior 3. I think this is like 1500 Lumens. Or maybe this too is like 1200. This is more com comparable to this. But um, when these go on sale, they're about the same price. So what do you want? You want, because this, this is brighter. You want the brighter, smaller, more compact one? with more little options and features or you want this one i do like the fact that you can turn this to a spotlight and that this can charge other devices that's pretty cool uh but this you know is superior in terms of lighting and stuff so you know i, I don't mind the huskies well i do kind of mind this big one build quality is hit or miss but um i do kind of like 1200 watt one i mean lumen one now, yeah, again, I, I was just trying to show you guys that Olight ain't this. This is what, what you guys are assuming. And it, uh, this does have a little cool trick up its sleeve, though. Check that out. Now, that's white on the handle, but that's not the cool trick. Nope. 
There you go. Popo, right behind you. About to be behind you because you're going to jail with this thing. <laughs> Put this in your dashboard and pull over a friend. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you have any Olight products, comment below with your experience, your honest experience, right? Every month they seem to run a sale, so I, I wouldn't pay full price for these. I don't think they're worth that much, personally. But on sale, they offer a great value. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope this was helpful. Bye.